you see the height and reach advantage for Middleton. She is the much bigger fighter tonight. With the official introductions and to get us officially underway, Michael C. Williams. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome as Miller Light presents Bellator MMA. Tonight, from Menorah Miftahim Arena in Tel Aviv, Israel, the action begins now with three five-minute rounds in the flyweight division. Introducing the blue corner first at five foot seven, weighing in 125 pounds even. Her professional record stands at two and two. She fights out of Wichita, Kansas, USA, Jessica Middleton. And across the cage, her adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot two, weighing in 125 and one quarter pounds. The reigning Bellator kickboxing flyweight world champion tonight makes her debut inside the Bellator cage. Her professional MMA record stands at 0 and 1. She fights out of Amsterdam, Netherlands. Denise, Miss Dynamite, Kielhol. When the action begins, the referee in charge, Todd Anderson. Todd Anderson, our referee for this flyweight matchup here inside the menorah, Mivka Himarina. Jessica Middleton and Denise Kielholtz. Here we go! Jessica Middleton in the blue gloves. Miss Dynamite. Bellator's flyweight kickboxing champion, Denise Kielholtz, in the red gloves. Middleton told us that I'm not scared to stand and bang with Kielholtz. I want to see what she's got. One thing about Kielholtz's style, not a lot of knockouts. Generally wins by decision. Doesn't have that big one-shot power, even in kickboxing. She just got clipped with the right hand early. Black belt in judo, former member of the Dutch national judo team. Kiel holds the five-time world kickboxing champion. And those little sharp pocket. combinations, good stuff. And Middleton wants none of that. There's the judo throw, head and arm. That can be dangerous in MMA, though. If she pulls her head out, she can take her back. Trying to extend the arm. Going from the arm bar from that position. Problem is the hips aren't exactly in the right spot to finish it. So she's trying to extend the left arm of Middleton. Middleton has one hook in. Going to look to pull her head out and take the back. Denise Kielhold told us she has spent the last three months working on her ground. Now she got it! it. That's right, a kickboxing world champion who won by submission in the first round off a head and arm throw straight to the arm bar. Great stuff. How good is that? And an emotional Denise Kielholz. And it started with the combination. She was doing a great job on the feet. And then that's when Middleton went in for the clinch, not expecting the throw, but here's how it ended. Look at that arm stretch. Hip got over it, and that was it. Take a look at it again. Able to sit out. As soon as she was able to do that, that's when you can cover the arm with your opposite leg. Beautiful arm bar. Jimmy, if I would have asked you, list in order the ways Denise Keelholtz could win this fight, where would arm bar be on your list? Bottom. bottom. Absolute bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you should. You know, she has those judo skills. Sure. I'm not taking on away from her. I thought she would use that defensively, use that base, stay on the feet, and then finish it with her hands. And great job by Denise Kielholz. Outstanding finish early by Miss Dynamite Denise Kielholz. Our official decision from Tel Aviv is coming up next. What a great performance by Denise Kielholz. With the official decision, here's Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it ends by way of a scarf hold arm bar. Tap, and officially, 116. Round number one, the winner by submission, Denise, Miss Dynamite, Kielholz.
Winner by submission. Just one minute and 16 seconds into the fight. Miss Dynamite with Jimmy Smith. I'm here with your winner, Denise Gilholtz. Kickboxing world champion winning by submission. We knew you had the judo, but take me through the end of that fight. You went after that armbar and that throw with so much confidence. I know, I know. Um, some people forgot I got also my black belt judo. It's been a long time that I did it. But uh, yeah, here is like a fish in the water, you know? <laughs> this crowd, so excited to see you. So vocal in their support. How did that feel fighting here in Israel in front of these fight fans? Sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm in a dream. I'm here. I didn't hear the, the question, sorry. <laughs> so how did it feel fighting in front of this crowd, all the yelling, all the screaming, so much behind you? Oh my God, the first time that I came here, I came in, I feel the audience, it was so, I, the only thing I can say, amazing. Thank you, uh, thank you everyone, guys, thank you. Was that important to you to show the rest of the division you're not just a kickboxer, you don't mind going to the ground, you have the takedown, you have the submission game. Was that important to you tonight? Well, uh, yes, because um, you know, my dream is now I have the blue belt. But how amazing it will be if I have also the red belt. Not just kickboxing, but MMA. She wants to be a two-belt champion. Denise Kilholz, ladies and gentlemen.